Hi guys, welcome to the week three of my Christmas cut fat loss journey. This week, I have to be completely honest, I didn't feel good at all. In fact, I felt shit. So today I want to talk about is it normal to feel shit during your deficit? As a trainer, we always tell our clients, stick with it, go for it, you can do this, blah, 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 blah. But sometimes we forgot how painful that could be. And that also the reason why I put myself in the shoe, in your situation, to actually feel shit together. <laughs> so yes, this week hasn't been great at all. Let's start back on the early week. And Monday, Tuesday, it was good. I had a coffee doing the work that usually my breakfast because morning I usually working. Lunch and dinner, I was still eating well. I cooked my home meal. Um, I was still able to get the energy in cooking. And I think when things change, the good thing about documenting your whole week is to see where you start feeling shit and you can go back and trace what did you eat or why you feel that way. Forward to Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday lunch, I had this Korean soup that I bought from supermarket. I reheated it and add some rice, home-cooked rice on the side. For Wednesday dinner, my friend came over. The good thing is me and her, we both eat very healthy. So I cooked salmon um, with asparagus and some green pepper. Was it asparagus? No, mushroom? Can't remember actually. But it was still healthy. Good balance. We did not get any carbs in. I was focusing on high protein, so that works fine. Um, and then, but the thing is, like, we had a couple glasses of wine. I don't actually drink much. I drink maximum once a month. I'm talking about like three glasses, four glasses. So on Wednesday, I had at least three glasses of the red wine, which is really good. It's a good time. But on Thursday, I felt absolutely shit. First of all, alcohol that makes you feel like you want to eat more, um, especially when you drink, talk, chatting, you just keep drinking without even noticing it. Um, and then I remember like after dinner, I was craving for some sugar carbs. So I went for a dessert, um, which is like a iced moon cake, which super high carbs and sugar. Um, it only happened once a year in the mid-autumn festival. That was okay. I give myself a little pass to go for it. Um, after all, it's a festive thing. But the wine got me in the next day. I was so tired. And because of lack of sleep, I need more sleep after I drink. But then I have work in the mornings. And the cycle goes on. Every time when I'm too hungry, I don't have the patience to cook. And that's where I start to eat shitty food which means anything handy, anything easy and quick, I don't have to cook. Uh, mostly processed food, AKA, so really unhealthy stuff and that goes on and on. I guess that's the reason why I felt shit by the end of the week because when it keeps going on, you're not getting enough nutrient during the day. You, and also that's the reason why I was lack of energy to do any workout. So last week I also only did two workout sections. We were Testing out a class, a circuit, which is really, really good, really fun. A lot of cardio. But we're trying to combine weight training and cardio, so it was really good combination. And then I did a one weight training section. And because I wasn't feeling energetic, so I focused mostly on my upper body. Um, but yeah, I definitely could have done better than that. That's my week. Oh, right. And also on Saturday, um, went out with a uh, friend's gathering and then we were... It's hard to eat healthy outside as much as we try to, um, but there's always snacks in fold. Um, drinks, we always go for less sugar drinks, so it's not a big problem. But that's also why I need to limit my social activities as well. I was gained a little weight back to 57 point something, if I remember correctly. And I'm putting my week three photos here. As you can see, you might not be able to see much different, but I definitely didn't feel well at all. 
and my weight went back up and I feel bloated, I feel a little heavy. So yeah, I want to say that it's totally okay. It's part of the journey. Um, don't beat yourself up. I would never beat myself up. Um, I notice my changing of habits and I notice where it start going wrong and I can try to avoid that in the coming weeks. And so yeah, I will be doing better next week. I will be keeping up on my training and start to cook a little bit more. I found home cook really, really makes a huge difference. So, so yes, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to keep this video short to this week and I will talk to you and see you guys next week.